Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I'm gonna send some uh, cards to uh, SGC. Well, I haven't done the whole thing yet, but these are the cards that I'm going to go ahead and do the submission for. I've uh, gone through and picked out some cards, took some off the list initially, I had some other ones on there. But uh, for $15, I've picked uh, 40 cards so I'm going to show you the 40 cards that I have uh, chosen here. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these cards. And uh, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of give you just a quick look here. Let's see, this is the, the Caramelo Deportivo, Dick Sizzler. And this was, of course, these are paper thin. And this, these usually are in scrapbooks. But this one's in pretty good condition here. So if you can see the back, you know, that's just, that, this is a pretty good condition card for Caramelo Deportivos, but it should get a one. So let's see how that does. And uh, this is the uh, Mini Minoso, the rookie card. I got this at the National. And this one is just nicely centered. I mean, it's not a perfect card. It's got some issue there. I don't, looks like some print mark. Corners look pretty sharp, and the back looks pretty good too. So I'm hoping uh, somewhere in the mid grades there. By that I mean four or five, something around that area. The same with this one here. It's got a rough corner. It's got a good deal on it because it does have that rough edge, but I don't think SGC will take anything off for that rough edge, but this is the 53 Tops Minoso. It's got a little bit on the bottom here. That, you know, but the rest of the corners seem pretty decent. And that's from the, the uh, holder there. So, again, I'm hoping to get somewhere around uh, four or five, something around there. Most of these cards, even, uh, I'm, I'm hoping I can get higher than a five or a four, you know, somewhere in the mid, mid grade is what I'm expecting. Some of them a little bit higher when you get to the later years. Here's an Eddie Matthews, a 59 Eddie Matthews. This was a little off-centered. I tried to pick the most centered cards, and if not, I picked cards that were pretty sharp, and this one looks like it's pretty good. That little corner maybe, but other than that, that card looks pretty sharp. So it's got a little thing there, but here's the back of the card, and the back looks good also. So we'll see how that Eddie Matthews, and this is the Ernie Banks, again it looks good, corners look sharp, just a little bit off centered there, mostly top to bottom, but it's a nice looking 59 Ernie Banks. And the back is nice and, and clean. So none of these cards have any creases or anything like that. I've looked them over carefully. You know, I try to get the ones that are the best centered. Like this one is beautifully centered. The corners may not be the best, but they're definitely not bad. And this Aparicio, 59 Aparicio looks really nice, really well centered. So. I expect to get, you know, I've got to get somewhere around uh, mid-grade or above on many of these. These all came from my 59 set, so uh, the the cost on this is, uh, I've had that 59 set forever. And these I got at the uh, National and, you know, I've, I've, I've did a video on those before. So this is the uh, 62s. I've graded so many of my 62s, but this Cepeda All-Star just looks so nice. And the corners look sharp for a 62. It doesn't have much chipping. And it's pretty nicely centered, just a little bit side to side, but you know, I can get like a five, six on that. I'm good with that. This Tiant I got recently at uh, one of the card shows. It was just very nicely centered. And I thought I could, I uh, got this at the Tampa card show. 
this is very nicely centered. It's the Tiant 65 Rookie, and it looked very, very nice in the back also. So that's going to get graded. That I expect to hopefully do a little bit better. If I can get somewhere around, a, a, you know, a six, a seven, or something like that. And these cards now I want to show you from the 70s. I, I got to get at least a seven on these minimum for that's what I'm expecting. Hopefully eight and or maybe a little better but this is the Yaz and again these are really really sharp pretty sharp that, that little corner has a little tiny ding but it's a little off centered but I think that is sharp enough and worthy enough to get me at least a at least a seven on that so they're, they're pretty sharp these I opened them right from packs all the 70s and on and this uh, Cepeda looked so sharp that I thought I'd go ahead and send that in for sure. May not be worth a lot, but I think this has a chance of getting an eight. Maybe even better, it's nicely centered. Let me get you a good look at that here. And it's got the corners pretty sharp. So we'll see how that works. And the same with these, the Lou Brock here looked perfectly centered. Nice, the corners are pretty nice. I, I expect to get uh, somewhere on an, an eight on this one. So we'll see what I, how that goes, but that looks really nicely centered top to bottom and these cards from the 70s and on I mean all the cards the vintage cards are really hard to get them centered and this Sparky Anderson again looked probably one of the best of the, of the bunch the corners are nice super sharp you know again I, I gotta get it I'm expecting an 8 maybe a 9 on this if I can get a 9 on any of these that'll be a big hit and that's kind of what I'm hoping on so these are not big names but I could get nines out of that. And this Johnny Bench again from 72, Johnny Bench is just super sharp. Very nicely centered. These I pulled from packs, so they've been sitting in the boxes and that's hoping I can get at least an eight on this, eight or nine. Nines are tough. I mean, SGC doesn't give nines for vintage, but you know, I can get an eight. I'm happy with that. And again, all of these, this is what I'm looking to get something around that, those higher grades for these 70 cards. The 73 Pete Rose looked super sharp also. It looked pretty nice and it's very nicely centered, top to bottom, side to side. So we'll see what, how that goes on that one. Uh, uh, put another row here. This is the uh, Goose Gossage, and that again was very nicely centered, sharp, sharp corners. I mean, that card looks like it, you know, I gotta get, again, I'm, I'm looking to get eights on these or nines. If I can get a nine on any of these cards, that'll be a big card for $15 to grade it. You know, and, and you know, the backs, these are tough because of the black. But look at that, see, you don't even see a speck of the black on that. That's why I'm thinking this card could be an eight or a nine. Same with this Yastrzemski. Look at that thing looks beautifully centered. Sharp, sharp card. I've been the only owner of this card. I pulled it out of a pack and it's just super sharp that so I'm hoping I mean if I can get a, a 9 on any of these 70s I'd be super happy but you know an 8 or minimum 7 here's a Dave Winfield rookie this one's a little bit off centered side to side but it's still nice and sharp so I'm thinking you know again see what I can do on this but hoping for 8s 
on a lot of these. Here's a 73, uh, I mean 74 Reggie, which again just look nice. Maybe a touch in that little corner, but not, no, not, not much. The rest of them, I look, and they were sharp. You can tell, see? So that Reggie, and it was really nicely centered. It's just tough to get these cards in the early 70s. Any of these centered is really tough. And this one was really nicely centered, so. And the back, again, is, these are all clean. And even, you know, decently centered in the back even, so. So those are, uh, some, here's one more from 74, and this is the Bob Gibson. Again, another beautiful example. These came from my collection that have all sharp, sharp, sharp corners. I mean, I'm hoping I can pick up a nine out of some of these 70s. What do you guys think? I mean, these cards are just, look how clean that card is. No print defects. None of that, no fish eye. So I, I looked for the, the best ones that I could out of the 70s to see if I can get good grades on that. And, uh, you know, or some of the bigger stars. Here's the, uh, from 75 now, which you know these are tough to, these grade tough just like the 62s over here. This is the, uh, no, card number one. No, it's not card number one. It's card number, yeah, it is card number one. This is card number one in the set, which is always a tougher one to, and it's where Hank Aaron sets the new all-time home run mark. And uh, here it is. And it's just, for card number one, it's sharp, sharp, sharp. The only problem is a little bit off-centered, but, you know, it should get a good grade. See, it's off-centered left to right, but not much. And it's the first card in the set which is a very tough card, and it's just a nice card of, uh, of Hank there. And it just, it's clean, it's just the stuff that's on the thing there. And here, from the same set, I picked a few 75s, a Nolan Ryan. This one was off-centered, but it is a Nolan Ryan, so I figured I'd get it graded. And, and this one's not gonna grade a seven, but it should grade at least a six, and the corners are super sharp. To, to get a, a card from this year to not have any chipping on it, it's almost impossible. This has no chipping whatsoever. It's just off-centered. So we'll see, we'll see what SGC says on this card. And the next one is very similar, but it's perfectly centered, and that's the Reggie Jackson. Now this one does have a little tip on the corner there. Very small. So you can kind of see there, but the other corners are like, look at that. That's how it came from the factory. See, look at that. I don't know if you can see this carefully, but anyway. It's sharp. Super sharp, well-centered. I'm hoping I can get at least an 8 out of this one. All of these I need to get 8s, except for the, the Ryan I understand because the off-centering. But this is, these are all centered. If I can do that, I'll do fine. But even with 7s, I'm happy with 7s. And these are the rookie ones for 75, and they, that's uh, the uh, Jim Rice rookie. Again, this is from my 75 set that I pulled from packs way back when. So they're all gonna be sharp. This one is a little bit off-center, side to side, but you know, it's a Jim Rice rookie, and you can see that it's nice and sharp little fish eye right there but other than that and it has a little bit of a rough cut but it's still that's how it came from the factory then the next rookie card I've got is the uh, Keith Hernandez rookie card and this one looks sharp I think this one should be an eight if I can pull a nine, a nine out of any of these that would be awesome 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 and, but the, and this one is possible I don't know what do you guys think I went through my sets and I pulled out some of the stars and I pulled out some of the best cards of the stars and these were them. That I hadn't graded, I graded a bunch already, but look at that card. I mean, what do you think of that Keith Hernandez? I think that's a possible candidate for a nine. It's also got Phil Garner in there and the back is centered also. So, I mean, 
if that's a, not a nine candidate, that's, I think so too. Let's check uh, the Fred Lynn rookie card. This one is a little bit off centered. So maybe uh, again, the corners are super sharp. For these 75s to have corners like this, it's almost impossible. But this one is off centered, but it's still the Fred Lynn rookie card. And so this, maybe they'll drop me some to a seven or something like that. Or, but that's okay, that's a rookie. And then uh, now from um, 1976, we're gonna grade some of those. And this is what card number one, a Hank Aaron record breaker. And this one was also in beautiful condition and very nicely centered. So I tried to pick the most centered one or ones that have super sharp edges and corners like this. So that looks like it's very nicely centered. And it is the number one card in the set. So that makes it a little more tough to get in this kind of condition. And that's the uh, home run, the home run king, home run, runs batted in lifetime. That was a record breaker, he, the most runs batted in past Ruth and Garrick. So that's the uh, Aaron, most runs batted in lifetime. And again, I'm hoping, uh, you gotta get an eight or a nine on those. The same thing with this Nolan Ryan. This Nolan Ryan's a little bit off-centered, but not by much, but it's, you're not gonna find many sharper than that. Just like it came out of the pack. So let's see what I can uh, get on that. I'm looking to get at least uh, an eight, hopefully on that. Now we're going to get into some of the newer stuff. By newer, I mean the 80s. So I'm trying to cover every era here. So I've got the 70s. I'm going to go with the 80s. And if you guys remember, I uh, broke the uh, 87 Topps Tiffany set that I had there. And I picked the four cards that I thought would uh, grade well and that were worth grading. And these are them here. First, the Bo Jackson rookie card. And I'm hoping that I can get a 10 out of any of these. I'm hoping for a 10. I doubt it, they don't give 10s, but if I can get a 10, minimum a nine on these, because they're Tiffany cards, but if I can get nine and a half or a 10, I'd be extremely happy. And you see the difference how these are white, white in the back. And these, as you saw, these Tiffany cards came right from the factory set, untouched. I opened the set and pulled these right out. So let's see how they grade. This is the Bonds rookie out of there. Now the Bonds rookie, unfortunately, it was top to bottom off center. Do you see that? So that's definitely not gonna get a, a very high grade, but even if I can get an eight out of this, I'm happy because it's a Bonds, uh, basically the Bonds rookie. Uh, from the uh, Tiffany set. So that'll be, uh, that'll be worth a, a good one here. And then the, 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 really the, one of the top cards in the set is the Canseco rookie card from the Tiffany. And uh, that's it right there. And this one does look beautiful. Nicely centered there. And of course the corners and stuff. I mean, it came right from the back. So anything with this Tiffany is nine and plus. I'm happy with that. And the other Tiffany card I pulled out of there was the Mark McGuire rookie. It was not really his rookie, but the Mark McGuire card is a very desirable card of Mark McGuire before steroids. And this one is beautifully centered, again, from the Tiffany. So these are Topps Tiffany, uh, four Topps Tiffany cards I'm gonna grade from the set. There was a lot more in the set, of course, as you know, from Nolan Ryan to all the other stars, but we'll look at those at another time. The other one I did want to grade was, since I am a Canseco fan, I also have an Opichi Canseco rookie that came also from this set. And uh, I did grade earlier the Bonds from the Opichi set, and that graded an eight. So this probably is gonna grade somewhere around eight, eight also, eight or nine. I was hoping it'd grade a nine, but it's the Opeachy version. This is pretty much the same. And this also has a white back, but not as white as the Tiffany. 
And again, this has the uh, writing in there in French. So that's the uh, Conseco Opici. And then after that, I just picked up some odds and ends from the, uh, from the 90s. And since I'm a Griffey fan, I got this post-serial Griffey card. So kind of some oddball cards I thought I'd get graded. Not many of these are being graded, and this one looked like it's in beautiful condition and nicely centered for these post-serial cards. And this is from 1990. So it's a second year Griffey. And, and these are really tough to get in good condition, especially the back. Usually this one has a little thing there, but pretty much, I mean, it, these, are, these are tough cards to get in, the, in this nice condition, a nice uh, centering like that. So I'm gonna go with that Griffey. Another uh, Griffey that you don't see very often is the uh, Jumbo uh, Sunflower Seeds Griffey. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that, get that graded also. This one's a little bit off-centered, but it's a tough Griffey to get in good condition. So I'm hoping I can get a nine, nine and a half on this one. It's really tough because the, the borders. So if I can do well on that. And of course, I'm a Frank Thomas fan. I got a few Frank Thomas. I got this uh, the rookie card here. And that looked pretty sharp. I have a few of these, and this kind of looked like the best one as far as centering that I could find. I had about four or five of these. So this one looked good. I think I got another one of these graded earlier, and I got a nine out of it. And this one looks just like that one. So, but I'm hoping I can get a nine and a half, a 10. If I can pull a 10 on any of these newer cards that I'm showing you now, it would be awesome, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now these gotta be kind of nines or tens, and this is another Frank Thomas. It's kind of a second year Frank Thomas, post serial too. Nicely centered, real tough to get in good condition because of the red and the blue corners there. So uh, we'll give that one a shot. See, that's a tough one, and, and it really looks beautiful there. So if I can get like a 10 on this, that'll be big money. Any of these nines are, really a 10 I would like in any of these. And here's another Frank Thomas. You know, I, I like Frank Thomas and I like Griffey, so. I'm gonna grade some of these that are a little bit, this one is off-centered, but it's uh, not an easy Frank Thomas to find and it's not very expensive, but if you can get a high grade on this. So if I can get a nine, nine and a half, well, we'll see what happens with that. And these two are pretty common cards now in the 90s. Uh, beginning with this Mark McGuire, but it's a beautiful card from the uh, Pro Vision. It's a classic card, and I think this would look nice in the uh, in the tuxedo. And you know, again, to really, if you want to grade this, it's, it's got to be a ten. It's got to come out a ten if you want to make any good money on this card. But you know, we'll see. This one looks really good, but it's all going to depend on the graders. I pick stuff that I know would be at least a nine, but you know, let's see what the greatest says. And this is another beautiful card that I just love. One of my favorites, and that's the Dwight Gooden. The card may not be worth a lot, but it's just such a classic card. It's just a, I love this card. It's the flamethrower. The flamethrower, I love it. And it looks sharp. It's got a little tiny thing in the corner there, so it's probably not going to get a high a, a 10, but I love the card, so I'm going to get a grade anyway. All of these are going to be in my PC, so that's that's enough. Some of these, if I get a real high grade on any of those, if I get a 10 on the Maguire, that thing's going up for sale or anything like that. But for the most part, you know, these are going to remain mine. And then the only football card I got here is this YA Tittle, 1959 YA Tittle. And that looked like it could do at least a, a seven, and that's what I'm looking to get on this. And uh, we'll see what happens. It looks pretty clean in the back. So that's what I've got, guys. I'm gonna get these over, uh, uh, get on the SGC app, start uh, uploading these cards on there, and let's see uh, when I can get it out. This is uh, Saturday, so. Sometime next week, I'll go ahead and, and get these out, and uh, we'll see what happens when they come back.
I'll share the results with you. So any comments on what you guys think of these cards? Uh, you know, let me know down there what you think I'm going to get on, on some of these cards from the 70s and from the 80s and anything that you like, uh, that you, any card you especially like, let me know. So anyway, guys, appreciate you for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. Uh, it's just uh, great. I'd love to hear it. And uh, keep it going, guys. I'll keep doing some more videos, so I'll catch you on the next one. Terlando from A Collector's Dream. Thanks for watching.